It looks like Mind's Desire is legal again after 20 years of being banned. And you know what? I'm dead inside. Okay, maybe not dead inside, but this announcement had me feeling in absolutely no way in particular. Overall, it was pretty anemic. Now, at the start of every year, Eternal Dirtles takes a look at the cards that are banned in Legacy, and we try and decide if any of them can come off the list. Mind's Desire was on that list, and you can look at that video at the end of this video or in the description below. But what I want to talk about is what they didn't tell you in this announcement. Let's read on. Magic has a rich and storied history, including the fastest banned card in the history of the game, Mind's Desire. At the time of its release, Magic's threats far outweighed the power of its answers, and creatures were much, much smaller portion of the Legacy metagame. A lot's changed. Two decades have passed since Mind's Desire was banned, and in that time, creatures have become more powerful, new Planeswalker cards have been introduced, and there are multiple cycles of free spells that have made it much harder to be a lover of the store mechanic. In the interest of making sure that combo players also get the same level of new content that other archetypes incidentally gain through our temple offerings, we've decided to unban Mind's Desire and Legacy. Outside of the spell's combo presence, the Legacy metagame is still evolving with the release of Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth. Orcish Bowmasters is making a huge splash in the metagame thus far, punishing cheap card draw spells that have historically been omnipresent throughout the format. Up until now, many of the decks that Mind's Desire punishes appear to be adapting while leaving additional space for previously underrepresented archetypes to shine. We will continue to watch how things adapt in the coming months, but don't feel the need to ban anything at this time. That's a lot of ink about Mind's Desire, a little bit of ink about Orcish Bowmasters, and absolutely nothing about Urza Saga, Uro, Urion, Sky Nomad, Murktide Regent, and any of the other tentpole cards from Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth. And what does that say? Watsi's telling you that those cards are safe. Urza Saga is creating new deck archetypes, and that's a good thing for the format. Uro and Murktide region are fine threats that are on par with everything else in the format as far as power level is concerned. Yurion is making some interesting innovations for deck building, and that means it's a great time to look at these cards and think about building decks with them in the future. When we get an announcement like this from Watsi that only has unbannings, that tells me that Watsi thinks that Legacy is very healthy right now. And I'm apt to agree with them at this juncture, but I still have a bone to pick with this announcement. Specifically that second paragraph. You could replace Mind's Desire with Mana Drain and Storm for Control, and you would have a lot of happy players. Mana Drain has been printed several times over the last five years, it's not on the reserve list, and it's just the right power to give reactive control decks a chance to be put back on the map. Legacy does not have a top tier control deck at present. And let's not even talk about those four color control decks with Minsk and Boo. Those are great decks, they're not control decks. And if you want more confirmation on that, check out our last video where Phil goes into full detail explaining the difference between these decks and something like Miracles. I say all that to say this, Mana Drain could have rejuvenated one of the most beloved archetypes in the history of the game and put it into the hands of folks just itching to play it. What could you do with Mana Drain? Well, traditionally, Legacy Blue control decks have had somewhat of an issue presenting their endgame while maintaining vigilance against decks that are trying to close the door when it has its shields down. Now imagine a play where you get to mana drain your opponent's 3 or 4 drop, and then on the next turn, use that mana to cast a game swinging play. Maybe the One Ring or Ugin, or maybe a card that we could never justify playing in this format because of its mana cost. So this is my impassioned plea to Wizards. Consider mana drain. Consider the millions of Dirtle Maniacs out there. It's not on the reserve list. It's been reprinted several times. Let's give control decks the tools they need to compete in Magic's greatest format. And you can quote me on that. So yeah, like I said, we've got this video here where we talk about all the unbannings at the beginning of every year, but you should just subscribe to the cast. There's a ton of great things to check out here and uh, you know, we'd appreciate it. We're almost monetization, so hook us up with a sub.